Hello, 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 everybody. How y'all doing? I sure hope y'all are doing well. Well, I am excited. I am excited about today. I have the amazing, amazing, amazing couple from Tanzania. Oh, wow. Okay, April and Julius, you know those guys. They're over here already on YouTube. They're already making amazing content. As you know, they left the U.S. and went over to Tanzania, and they're creating content, amazing content. They've started a farm, amazing farm. They even got chickens, y'all. And look, they're doing good. I hear the chickens are pretty good. So um, <laughs> Milton and I have to go over and uh, taste and see. I mean, we'll just have to go look and see. So we're excited. I am excited about today, right? I'm excited about being country in another country because y'all know I'm country wherever I go. So <laughs> we're going to get a chance to talk to um, Julius and April. They're going to share their story today. If you haven't watched, okay, look, let me rewind. Wait a minute. I'm Sanal, by the way. How y'all doing? I hope you are doing amazing. If you haven't watched the broadcast from last week, they shared all about how to um, leave, you know, how to leave America. They shared their story about how they left America and they went over um, to Tanzania and are having an amazing, amazing experience in Africa. And whoever thought it would be anything differently. So that is up and you can go and watch their story. Also, check out their YouTube channel. I have all the links below so you can check out their YouTube channel. You can support them. Do all those amazing things, right? And let them know how amazing they are because they are truly ama an amazing couple. And today we are talking about content creation. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> I am uh, talking about content creation because it's very important, right? It's very important. And I, my mission, my goal is to help um, people who are looking to move abroad, like myself, to find ways, right? Creative uh, ways to fulfill their dream by creating income and creating opportunities for themselves to make money. And so one of those ways, obviously, is through content creation. And so we, um, African Dreaming, of course, they have a TikTok channel. They also have um, Instagram. They're over on Instagram. So all that's linked below. And so we have to be really creative and strategic about what we do. In addition to that, of course, um, they have a farm, which is amazing. And, um, you know, they, they do film their farm and their journey of what it's like to move to, to um, what it's been like to move to Tanzania and to start their journey farming. And so it's an amazing journey. And so we as content creators have a wide array of content that we can provide. And so yesterday, of course, I talked to an amazing um, person, Isaiah Diggs. Go out and check that out as well. I talked to him. He's in Mexico and he shared all of the things that he does to create content and he does to make money as a content creator. He's on LinkedIn, um, which is, you know, very interesting uh, to be on LinkedIn creating content. He's also on several other different platforms, among them YouTube here. And so, um, and go over, watch that broadcast and support him. But I'm talking to April and Julius today because it's important that we as content creators share our story and that we begin to form this group of people that support each other and um, love each other and are really here for each other so that we get you know, we share knowledge, right? We share knowledge with each other uh, back and forth. There may be something that Isaiah, that Callan is doing over on LinkedIn or on YouTube that I'm not doing. There may be something that uh, Julius and April are doing over on their channel. And so as we come together, united, right? Um, there's stuff Milton's doing on his channel, um, things that I'm doing on my channel and behind the scenes that you guys may not know. And so 
if we share this, then to me, it just makes our community even stronger. So there's the journey of moving. And you guys know, I've been sharing about moving to Africa, I think since 2019. Um, and so, and um, so sharing, I've been, you know, doing that since about 2019, doing videos, all of that. And so I think we, the next progression in this step is to really get our money right. You see what I'm saying? So, so that the journey is sustainable. And so that's why I'm doing what I do. That's why this is so important to me because not only do I want you to be inspired, but I want to help you get there, really get there and really be able to stay and sustain your journey. All right. Well, without further ado, because y'all, you know, y'all know, um, I, I can, um, I got all these amazing thoughts. <laughs> and ideas. And so I, I am excited. Um, I am excited. So we're going to bring Julius and April in and we're going to let them share, right? Let them share. So um, if you are here with me, of course, you can support me even more by buying me a coffee um, to ensure that I create more informative broadcasts and have more amazing guests just like this one, um, like this couple today. Um, and you can buy me a tea over on Buy Me Coffee. And so welcome. I am so excited. And Milton's here. So that is always awesome um, to have that support, to have that love and support. And so, you know, it's one of my favorite things is to talk to amazing couples. So without further ado, drum roll, please. We're going to bring in our amazing, beautiful guest, um, one of whom is wearing my favorite color today. Um, so I hope you wonder if you can guess what that you know, many of you probably already know, but one of many of you uh probably already know. But anyway, we're gonna bring her beautiful shining self in along with her husband. So come on in, y'all. Come on in. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, let's see what's going on. There you are. Let's see. Is it are you unmuted now? You guys are muted for some reason. Okay. I'm not able to hear us now. Oh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> Hi, <everybody. Yeah. laughs> hello, hello. Okay, there you are. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Welcome. Thank you. For us. <laughs> Thank you. You're, I'm so glad you guys are here. Well, we um hope you guys are doing well and having a really amazing day today of course it's cold over here um but i hope you guys are having an amazing day um so let's hop into it you guys um moved of course to um tanzania and your african dream and you have a beautiful amazing youtube channel and mm -hmm. you are a diaspora couple that's originally from Texas. You love to cook and garden and travel throughout the U.S., Canada, and um, you now live in Tanzania. And so you've learned through your travels that nothing brings people together like food. And so let's, um, let's talk about um, your journey to content um, creation and how you really um, came to this journey. So tell us, um, whose idea was it to, to start a YouTube channel? I think I asked that last time, but we let, let's, yeah. let's recap that for the for everyone. Okay. Semi it, mutual? Yeah, it was mutual. I think it was more him. <laughs> uh, she would say that. I think it was it was semi mutual. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Milton. Hi, Milton. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was mutual. It was definitely mutual. We thought about it and we were like, you know, why don't we just document our journey uh, for our family and friends? That's pretty much how it started. You know, yeah. just a video diary so our friends and family could see that we were doing okay, traveling, and um, that we were safe. Right. And we actually took um, took a hiatus. I think, you know, since, since we're speaking of content creation, one of our earlier videos that was early on. That was like uh, a month or two uh, in. Mm -hmm. And after that, we took a hiatus for a while because, you know, we're trying to, trying to take care of business, trying right. to get some things done. Mm -hmm. and, and we needed to regroup and kind of figure out what exactly we wanted our channel to be. Right. Um, so that 
took a little brainstorming and uh, just a little time to, for us to talk and figure out what, what exactly we wanted uh, African Dreamers to be. So. Right. Okay, and so you took a hiatus and now you guys are um, now you guys are back. Um, did you start taping first when you were in the U.S. and then building a an audience before you left, or did you just pick up the camera first when you first came to Tanzania? Oh, well, wow. we started. Yeah, it is a good question. Um, <laughs> we started filming before because we were going to talk about. I had to renew my passport. So we started talking about filming that part so people could see the process and how long that took. So I started filming, but we didn't put that out there. Um, we just decided not to do it. And then when we got here, uh, we saw all the cool things we could do and everything. So then we started filming more once we got here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's the thing with content so, Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I was just going to say, um, <clears throat> now that we are content creators and we kind of, you know, we, we're filming and we we're, we're, uh, have more aspirations, you know, life keeps happening. So you, you kind of learn how to um, keep making it work, even when you're still dealing with uh, things that are on and off the camera, because it can get complicated sometimes. Right. And you know, like the part where you have mm -hmm. to decide what you want to, uh, what you want to film and what you don't want to film. Mm -hmm. um, where you can film. Where you can film. Yeah. Is this something I want to put up or not? Mm -hmm. um, it, it takes a lot of thought to figure out if if you want to be on a platform like YouTube because you're putting yourself out there. When you put yourself out there, um, you know. Just like positivity flows your way, negativity can blow your way too. So you have to, you know, have that in mind mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. just, you know, kind of have your head right for it because it's going to happen. People are people and, you know, so just, you know, really thinking about it, that's really what we wanted to do. Right. But to the plus sides, like you said, um, Sanal, um, it is... Uh, it definitely has its benefits if, if you have all of that mindset that you know you want to share you want to create content um find out what works for you what parts of yourself you want to share and uh pick up the camera yeah yeah and what was something else that that, um, early on. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it's hard to kind of in the beginning. It's hard to kind of figure out like what is my channel going to be about, and mm -hmm. what am who am I? What's my audience? Who am I going right. to be talking to? Right. right. That was and that was that, the hardest part. Yeah, that's part of the journey. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And how easily you can get discouraged in the beginning when you know, especially if you're doing like uh well either, either if you if you're doing a uh if you're recording or if you're going live and you you're just kind of sitting there talking to out in the ether and you don't know you know, if you if anyone's listening, if they'll come back and listen, you may have one or two people in the chat. And it's kind of like, you know, it, it can you got to really want to do it right. <laughs> to keep, keep yourself motivated. Absolutely. Right. And it, it can be because I've I've, you know, had those both the highs and lows of, um, you know, I've had hundreds of people in the chat i've had three people in the chat and i always um i've had you know 50 people watch a video 10 one we all started one i've had thousands of people watch videos um mm -hmm. and so it it can be very difficult to keep going and so i've found that you have to have a lot of inner strength 
sometimes honestly i just yes. want to quit i'll just i just be like what <laughs> um this is you know this is tough um this is not an easy job one of the things that helped me i have a video that i watch on replay quite often and it's a video by roberto blake and he did this video back in 2015 i'll try to link it um come back and link it um in the broadcast but he did this video okay. in 2015 and he he's fussing at content creators who complain like me okay and so he's 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 on this whole rant it's the beginning of the roberto blake rant and he's like going i mean like going off he's like don't you know that for some people it takes 500 videos but at least um you know 50 to 100 videos before you you click before it clicks and um it right. can, can take up to 500 videos before you really take off and really get that audience and get that balance and everything going and um youtube audiences are fickle right so mm -hmm. it's yeah. um your audiences which you know i've been in this arena of talking about africa for quite some time but if you go back and you look at some of even the people that you like uh you know that you like <laughs> but the, some of the people that you watch on a regular basis, you'll right. notice that they have ups and downs. They have highs, oh, yeah. you know, and they have lows, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and so I've been watching some just to go and just look at some metrics of people. And I'm like, well, dang, they got low views too. Or it took their video a couple of days or even weeks to get up mm -hmm. into the thousands like it didn't take overnight and over a day and i'm one of those people i continue to market a video i'll i'll market a video for weeks after like I'll, mm -hmm. i'm finding mm -hmm. different places different um you know facebook groups whatever it is to to market and to put those videos and so that's one of the things i've been doing with you guys it's like marketing trying to find you know different right. places and you just keep going you just you just keep doing it the other thing is you have to introduce a subject to someone more than once and so like you know with you guys like introducing you more than once to my audience okay just more right. getting them to see you getting to see you in different spaces getting to learn more about you from different angles and the more you do that the more um your audience come because you think about it when you go to the store what did they bring out a couple of years ago? Um, I don't know, some kind of new Coke drink. Um, was it strawberry Coke? I don't know what, what was some kind yeah, of flavor. Coke beach or something like that. Some, you're right. And yeah, how many right. times do they keep having to introduce you, you know, introduce that to you? Or Doritos. I, well, y'all y'all, ain't young yet as I am, but I'm just saying. They <laughs> brought <laughs> out, you know, Doritos. And so it was the regular Doritos, the red, right? The regular, mm -hmm. the original. And then it was the um the ranch, whatever cool, the ranch. Cool was. ranch. Cool ranch. That's what it is. Right. Nobody liked the cool ranch but me <laughs> for a long, you, you know. You and me. You, you, like you, 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 and me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But now they're a staple and everybody loves them, right? You right. just can't even have a Super Bowl. You can't and so you you have to it's marketing. You have to think of that, um, you know, think about it in that way. Because if you if you Absolutely. don't <laughs> you this mm -hmm. this this game but i i do i have to listen to roberto blake um what do you guys think about that <laughs> oh man I, I have a couple of different points um because you touched on so many things and i know over the course of the, of the conversation i'm sure we'll touch upon a variety of things but uh i have to say this um uh, i started our last video we started our last video saying thank you for what you do and I really want to press upon that again. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, not only for for acknowledging little itty bitty uh, YouTubers and, and uh, content creators like uh, us, but also last night's interview was was great. That was amazing. With Mr. D. Yes, amazing um, interview. Like I said, you're showing the uh, diaspora in on the company. You're showing the diaspora in mexico you're showing the diaspora diaspora in the caribbean you're showing the diaspora um wherever they may find themselves in the globe so 
Uh, I don't think anybody out here is doing it quite like you. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful. We're grateful. Yes. And uh, to add on to that, you also don't have to do what you're doing for these small content creators. It's so important. And that's really the only way that I think people like us grow. Mm -hmm. Um, it's help from larger platforms who uh, have humble souls, humble spirits, and look at a much bigger picture. And um, that's what you do. And I mean, we, we wouldn't be having this conversation if it were not for you and your uh, uh, kindness. So yes. that's really y'all are so y'all are so so sweet and so <laughs> generous. I, I'm the reason that I love small content creators, and there there are a couple of reasons. And that's one one of the reasons I I love small content creators because I'm still a small content creator is because I'm only doing for you what I wish someone had done for me. I this wish someone, I wish someone had just said, "Hey, you know Sanal, you know she's doing a great job. Let me." Let me pick her up. And I mean, and let me spotlight and kind of highlight and talk to people about what she's doing. Let me bring her on the channel and share what she's thinking and, and what she's doing over her, over her channel. It's really exciting. Um, and, you know, I feel like it's exciting. So let me, <laughs> you know, let me um, let me let me help her out because I know, you know, I know what it's like to be a small content creator. And this is just my opinion. This is not African dream. This is not Julie's. It's not African dream. I mean, do it without asking for any pay. I mean, do it without you needing to spotlight anyone because you signed up for my class or you took my uh, workshop or you did anything except bought me coffee. No, I mean, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, you didn't do it. You know, not to do it. You're just kind people. And so sometimes, oh, you. you know, I look at platforms and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, oh, there's spot parties, so many new people. I said, like, oh, then you figure out, oh, they, they bought the class. Oh, they bought the class. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I, I didn't buy the class. Yeah. And, and I think all that has a part to play because, you know, the way YouTube is, you do have to find ways to monetize yourself. But mm -hmm. I think there's just this energy in sharing because you just share, because you just want to support people and you just want to see people make it. You know how difficult mm -hmm. the world is, um, especially right. for brown content creators. Right? Yes. So, yes, yes. And, and you know, something, something else, I don't, I don't, I wish the stigma could be removed from the, um, desire to be uh, uh, monetized. I don't know why there's a pseudo stigma with it. Like why, why I say, why not? Um, right. When, when, when we exist in, as unfortunate as that may be, uh, we're kind of forced into a hustle culture. We kind of forced into multiple streams of income. We, we're kind of forced into all these different ways of maneuvering through life and acquiring as many resources as we can. So I just don't understand that. And uh, I do, some people create content for a plethora of different reasons, mm -hmm. but if you can benefit yourself financially uh, and help yourself and your family and your situation, why not do that? Right. I'm, and I, I, I completely agree because um, we, I've, I've been on lives, you know, and different, you know, or watch comments from people and they're like, oh, so you're monetized or oh, so you're doing, I'm all for the courses. I teach courses. I'm all for the, you know, all I'm all for that. I'm all for the courses and for the monetization, even on your channel. I, I've seen huge YouTubers get a flat back, you know, for even just having a monetized channel. But, you know, the <laughs> cameras and all of that and lighting and electricity and internet this stuff costs money like it is right. not it's cheap it's and so i i come i completely agree when and we also, you know, go ahead yeah uh, okay i'm sorry i just want to say yeah cameras cost lights cost 
but um, I believe I said, and I'll, we stress this on our channel a lot, um, you can replace a camera and you can replace a, a phone, you can replace a light, but you can't replace your time. Mm -hmm. People need to know their worth. And uh, when you create content, you, you are taking time. <clears throat> you, this is you. You're using yourself. And uh, again, if you could be 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 uh, recoup, you know, some some something for that, uh, because I don't think um, I, I I don't I don't hear MGM having deep philosophical conversation <laughs> about why they shouldn't make money. I don't hear Lionsgate <laughs> having deep philosophical you know uh, roundtables about why they. Should they or should they not make this, you know, billion here or, or hundreds of millions there? So um, we are people, we as content, content creators, we have worth just like everybody else. And especially someone like you in your position, um, the, the people that you reach, the people that you touch, the people that you influence, the people that you bring in, if anybody else could be making it, it's you. So, <laughs> Well, did you yeah. speak to Jesus about that? Come on in. <laughs> 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 Look, I, I'm all of the amens. All of the amens. <laughs> Men, sisters. I mean, <laughs> we, you know, I was, I, I really, because I was just on um, one of Roberto Blake's lives last night. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Roberto, oh. Roberto Blake is very hard on me. Cause so I, I'll go when I'm having like a really bad, <laughs> really bad oh. day, I'll go type, um, in different, you know, um, like on LinkedIn or Twitter. Okay, so that's where I, you know, because they YouTube everybody's there, right? So I find him yeah. like on LinkedIn or Twitter, and I'll you know share my little story, mm -hmm. and, and and he will, you know, just not me, you know, because he's passionate about YouTubers and creators making it. So he'll, you know, he'll share. And um, last night he 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 was sharing his own story, and he's at what five hundred thousand. But when you look wow. at, wow, wow, right? Yeah. But when you look at people who are his, who started at the same time as he did, he shared a story last night that he was trending in 2015, 2016, 17, ahead of everyone else. He was growing faster, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, as he went on now, those people that he was ahead of, they now have a million or two million subscribers. Wow. 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 And so it brought it home. It brought it back. Mm -hmm. and it was like, it's not that his work is not great. It's not that he's not superior in my, you know, in my estimation as one of the leaders in helping content creators to go, um, you know, to, to monetize themselves and to create income and have better uh, content. But we it's a reality that we just don't discuss. It's just a reality mm -hmm. that we just don't talk about um, in terms of encouraging each other, in terms of really sharing our story of how mm -hmm. we got here and the struggles that we go through um, mm -hmm. as brown content creators on you know these platforms. It's you know, right. it is what it is, and it, it's just the truth. And so that's why these discussions um need need to happen that's why we that's the one thing that we as content creators really haven't done and that's i don't know and i don't even know how we need to do it but mm -hmm. i think it needs to be done somehow where we're coming together as a group and really working together because mm -hmm. when i push you i mention you on my channel when you push me mention me on your channel mm -hmm. and milton does it and everybody you know we all do it then we all rise together and if you now, know i don't understand one thing now go ahead because you, you said you said you don't even know how we go about it you said you don't know how we do it but we're literally doing it in the moment <laughs> of it being it done right now right. Right. <laughs> Right now, right now, sometimes I think in our minds because we look at, like I said, you, you can tell by how you think, but the way you write a very smart, very intelligent woman, um, you, your, your, your spectrum, you're, you're, you're just so big that, uh, 
I think you overlook yourself. Like in this moment, you're literally doing everything that you aspire to do. You living in it. It may not be to the scale that you would like to see it, but in due time, everything happens um, for the for the reasons that you just named off. You literally living it. You living in it. So you are that blessing. Thank you. I appreciate that. And so I'm hoping we get it as content creators, not the, you know, not the, because I've seen industries of content creation kind of, you know, with, you know, kind of, you know, fall into this uh, cattiness or whatever, you know, we've seen mm-hmm. what has happened to, you know, even in the hair community and all these other, you know, makeup and, and I, and so we can learn some of those lessons about what not to do, but figure out as content creators, how we can in this space support each other because that's how we rise it you're when when i watch other content creators of the different nationalities and they're just sitting there drinking their coffee drinking their you know whatever and then they're like oh well you know i just saw my friend um jim bob the other day and he was you know i saw his video and he was watching he was doing a video on bike riding you know, I think this summer I'll take a bike. I'll, I'll, I'll my wife and I will start. Uh, my husband and I, let me, because I don't right. want nobody flipping thinking I said something I didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my husband and I. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Um, <laughs> really, oh, I think we'll ride bikes or something. Now, you because you see how he just slipped Jim Mob in there? Now, you're going to be going right. and trying and looking and trying to figure out who mm-hmm. Jim Mob is. And mm-hmm. they do that all the time. They do mm-hmm. that all of the time. And we have to start doing more of that. Well, you know, I can, uh, it's funny you say that. Uh, actually, the other day, I think we did a live on uh, Tuesday. Tuesdays, we usually go live. And um, the more time we have available, uh, we'll kind of, sometimes it's really direct and specific. And that's it. And then other times, I go ahead and get my initial message out, have an initial discussion, and then just kind of have an open discussion and let things go where they may. And uh, I'm, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Lead Farmer 73. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Well, he was doing the chat and I was moderating. And uh, we just got a, a couple of people saying, oh, Lead Farmer sent me. Lead Farmer, like, wait a minute. They know who we are. Like, right. What? I was like, how do, how do we even know who we are? <laughs> yeah. Like, how do, what's, what's going on? So we, you know, continued to live. And a lot of people were like, oh, let Farmer send us. Let Farmer Yeah. And later on, I was like, I got to find him. Was he talking about us in the live? Like, where was it? So I kept looking. And I went to his community page. And he posted our live. And in uh, one of his videos, he was saying, oh, I've been watching these guys all day. They're great. Go check them out. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. It was amazing. And then when, and when you contacted us, so now I was like, I saw this email. I was like, Samal. Oh. I was like, How did it? Right. Like, she why? wants to talk to us. Like, why? Right, right. <laughs> like, so, I mean, it's just unreal. You, you. It's been a lot of support, a, a lot, lot of shout of outs um, from our community that's growing. A lot of people um, putting us on their community pages and sharing our videos and telling people to come, come watch us. and. Uh, we've been doing a few collabs on our lives with other people, and it's been really great. It's been really supportive so far. It, it really has. Yes. Yeah, yeah. and Led, Led is just like that. Um, we have He's a farm. Already. Yeah, he is. Um, we have a farm channel, and mm-hmm. um, he, yeah, he support. He's very supportive. He's just very supportive, and mm-hmm. I, I really like that about him. Uh, how mm-hmm. supportive he is. Yeah. And that's important, right? That's really important. Yes. That we support each other. Right. Very important. Right. It's very and, important. Yeah. And and we um again, I, I don't like without people like yourself, how do people because there's so YouTube is so immense that uh and so are the other social platforms that you know content creators use that you could be out here for days and hours and weeks and months and years and nobody 
ever catch wind of it. You really have to push yourself. Everything that you said early in the conversation, you have to be multi-platform. You have to be, uh, and I'm so new to this. She, oh, this is the genius. This. this is the family genius right here. I'm, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> I'm still learning. I, I really enjoy um, putting the videos together and, and moderating his life because he's more in front of the camera. Like this for me is my anxiety is like on ten. I'm I'm comfortable with Houston all because we talked before, but um, the, you know me getting on camera, I, I'm I'm more comfortable behind the camera. Um, but I can get on. I can get on here and talk and schmooze and all that stuff. You know, it's <laughs> not, <laughs> I can do that. But the lives are more his thing. Um, and I enjoy when he's on live because I'm moderating and I'm in the chat and I'm I'm giggling. I'm in the other room. I'm just giggling because I mean they 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 have a good time on live and I have a good time too because I'm watching everything go down and I'm you know uh, putting things up and showing this and showing that. So it's it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So you're basically the um, moderator. Yeah. Kind, kind of behind the uh, scenes mm -hmm. guru. What's the um, yeah? And then you're the on on air talent. So, um, yeah. but you, um, April, you've done interviews. I've seen interviews that you've done. Yes, yes. 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 I, I yes. can do it now. I ain't saying <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I'm just saying <laughs> I'm I'm more comfortable behind the camera, but I can get on there and do you know. I'm doing my thing now. <laughs> Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Mill says I like uh, the video diary approach. Um, that's yeah. A, that's a, yeah, that's a good yeah. approach. Mm -hmm. And it takes a positive mindset to do a YouTube channel because it can be very up and up, very up and down journey. Yes, right. Yes, yes. It's not for yes. the faint of heart. Trust me. You have to <laughs> no, it is not for the faint of heart. You really have to want to do it and not not get too discouraged when you don't see your numbers go up or you don't get the few the views that you thought you would get because you put in all this work. You know, you just got to keep pushing and keep going and, and it'll come. It will come. Yeah. My question for the audience um, is, are you do you have a YouTube channel? And if you have a YouTube channel, what kinds of content are you creating? I meant to ask this earlier at the beginning, but if you are you creating content? So, and what type of content are you creating? Um, and if you are you on YouTube, do you do you have a YouTube channel? I'd I'd like to know. This would be interesting to know. Um, yeah. Milton says, <laughs> Sanav, you um, do need to approach this with a strategy. Yes, you do. You do have to have a strategy. You gotta mm -hmm. have a strategy because mm -hmm. if you don't, you'll just end up talking about original Doritos all day. But yeah, you you need, <laughs> <laughs> you, you need a strategy to, to do YouTube. And for for example, even with me moving into content strategy and all you know and all of that, you have to have a strategy about. How are you going to bring the audience with you even when you're doing something different or you're doing something new? Because um, it's 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 important to really connect with your audience and to do, you know, all that you do. And so, Melanie, Absolutely. saying thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I, I was just agreeing. Ah, OK. Uh, you're fine. Jump in. Hop in. That's why yeah. we're here. So, um. You're absolutely right. And something unique kind of happened for us, happened with us, because uh, I think, wow, it's been like a little over 100 in the last month or so. Mm -hmm. We picked up like 100 plus subs in the last month. And uh, we really listen to what they, if people make suggestions, mm -hmm. we, we just kind of go with that. And we didn't see it that way. Uh, that, but when we first started our channel, and it's like, it's still us. We live on the continent, but we're we still us. You know, you know, what I'm saying? like, right. like, um, I'm just as country. If you put me in in in, in Dallas, if you send me <laughs> up to Alaska, we the same people. If you stick me in Hawaii, we the same people. And uh, people really took a liking to that. Mm -hmm. It was kind of shocking. And 
um, I think I, I, the way we do things is it's like just a medley of, of goodness, a medley of us. Some days we cooking, some days we out in the garden, some days we showing people uh, because they ask more about, oh, well, what's this like? What's that like? Show me this mm -hmm. um, in, in, in Tanzania. Show me that. So we kind of listen and we, we consider suggestions. Right. And, um, you know, month after next, after rainy season, over, I don't know, you might see us out on some elephants or something. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, I, 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 we don't really have a box in that regard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's good. That's good. Well, thank you for all, all that you do. Melinda saying thank you for all the support. Oh, thank all you. That, thank yeah, you. all that you do in showing us um, Africa and just showing us your lives, right? And being mm -hmm. so transparent and just being yourselves because, you know, some of us go down the street and change. So you <laughs> imagine, imagine if you take me. <laughs> uh, Oh, Miller Sweet. Y'all, y'all trying to make my eyes sweat talking about my eyes. <laughs> it's all thank true, you. brother. It's thank all you, true. Thank you. Oh, Tasha Oshi grows. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Hey Snow. Hello, Tasha. How are you? Good to see you. And she is um too. okay. All right. Miss Tasha over there. You growing. All right. Um, there's uh, Matrell on a mission. Thanks, Mel Milner's welcoming Hello, you. <laughs> All right. Um, Matrell says, I have a YouTube channel. I create content for travel and life in Egypt. Awesome. Ooh. I have shifted to lifestyle. So I incorporate cooking and daily life activities, too. That's nice. awesome. Nice. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. Yes. Africa. Okay, Africa. I'm gonna have to come over there and check you out. Hello, Miss Seek Amethyst. How are you? Miss Seek Hello, is Amethyst. is a content creator, and I just did a review for Seek, um, an audience review. She won an audience review of her channel. Oh wow! An audience review and channel review of her channel oh, um, over on. I did a live on Blind Guy, his life, and their um, mm -hmm. Blind Guy, his wife. Their life and their okay. life, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Blind guy, <laughs> this is his twist. life. Look, Queen and Corey. I'm just saying, Q and <laughs> I was over there. <laughs> I'm gonna put the blind yes. guy, his wife, and their life. There you go. Uh, there show. You go. I was over on mm -hmm. their channel, and um, one of the things we we're talking about audience and content creation. And really, they're the people who got me, along with Milton, who got me started on saying, you know, you saw you need to do content creation more. Um, but mm -hmm. C. Amethyst won um, the channel review and just sent it out to her. Um, this is one of the first ones I've done outside of school for somebody else. So thank you, Seek, for trusting me. Uh, first of all, <laughs> for trusting me, I really appreciate that. So She's amazing. She does um, uh, camera reviews, equipment reviews, all of that over on her channel. And so, we follow um, her. do you? Yes. <laughs> she's she's amazing. Um, April, you're doing a great job on the channel. You actually. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Don't make your eyes sweat. Um, <laughs> is is your Milton asks, is your YouTube strategy more on content around day in the life of African Dreamer, or there are there specific areas of content that you focus on, business, travel, family, etc. All of the above. Oh really. yeah, all of the above. All I mean, of the above. We we always want to incorporate uh, food, um, and we, whether it's growing it in the garden. <laughs> growing it in the garden, <laughs> or uh, us just cooking. Or going to a restaurant, or going out to some of the shops, and and and, and showing you guys how uh, the meat is butchered here, and how things are different here. So there's one right. center around food, but you can do so much with that because you can go out yeah. in the village. And like I say, you can take shots of you know you getting fresh beef butchered. Um, you can go. Well, actually, they butcher these big pieces too. So yeah. I like to butcher a lot of our own meat at yep. home. 
But you know, YouTube, you can't really show certain Everything. things like you used to right. right back in the day. So uh yeah, I mean, even now, if we, we don't get me wrong, we still get store bought chicken, but if I want a chicken and I, and I ain't going to the store and I go outside and and then we have chips. Right. You might not want to see the core that details part. of that, you know. Right. But, um, you know, just parts of it we can put on there. So we always want to center it, you know, around food in some kind of way and in our daily life here. Mm -hmm. and just us, you know, going around town and showing people the sites because that was some of the feedback. People were like, we really, we really like this content. You guys out, out and about, show us more of that, show us more. Because at first we were like, oh, everybody's doing it. All the content creators that come here, they do. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just do it our way. Yeah, let's and just then, be us. You know, yeah. People want to see that and they, it resonates with them great. So, you know, it's ways to do it your way, even though someone else has done it already. You can still Put your spin on it. Put our Texas, right. our Texas flavor on it. Our being mm -hmm. country in another country flavor on it. You know, yeah. and people have been receptive, so it's, it's been fun. You ever seen two people drive a Honda? Well, each one of them own that Honda. That's they Honda. They <laughs> one. This one might have some same car. That one might have some rims on it. That one might have a windows tinted. Windows tinted. <laughs> same car, but make it your own. Just just get out there. If you create content, be yourself. Yeah. That's the, that. Yeah, that's the key. But I started laughing. If I y'all saw me laughing, I was laughing because Julia said, and then I was trying to recover. Um, because Julia was saying, what Julia said, you just go right. If I want chicken, I just go right outside again. <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> this is what this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm saying. Okay, so I was I, I, I my apologies, but I was like, okay. quite all right. <laughs> oh quite wow. All right. <laughs> But that's the beauty of your channel, right? That's the beauty of it to yeah. really show your life and to show homesteading and what is how, you know, what the importance of growing your own food and have access to your own, literally growing your own chickens. But anyway, yeah, have access to your own food. That is really, um, that's really it. Amethyst, Sink Amethyst says, my channel is about media representation, representation such as backgrounds camera angle oh. so your content can look good all right i love that there you go um be sure milton saying feed them elephants and put their um them to work in the garden, in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that milton them, them, them big. if we do we will film it yeah <laughs> okay yeah do that um, the don't, said, don't be the business business. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha, I love it. Oh, she grows. I love it. Being country in, I'm in another country. Yes, being country in another country. Just yes. um, subscribe, African Dreaming. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That, that's what we do, right? Yes, yeah. we knew we were editing, baby. We were editing right along with you. Um, because <laughs> sometimes YouTube would take your words, but yes, I'm so glad we are there, you know, there for each other. And so, we have this opportunity to create. I, I love what you said because that's the important thing when you're um, doing content is to make it your own. It doesn't matter how many times somebody is fixing water. It doesn't matter how many mm -hmm. times you see somebody fixing water. You fix that water. You put that ice in that water. Exactly. And you make everybody thirsty. It's your water. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know exactly. Let me take a sip. That's right. <laughs> that's right that's true that's how you do it um right <laughs> if, if if and we still new to it we still learning so much about the actual like creating like it's a lot to learn i don't think we'll ever stop learning right um but you just you have to stay motivated mm -hmm. you have to stay positive um it's gonna you be do. days where you debate with yourself whether you want to film or not um, something that's that's working out good for us, even if we don't know if we'll ever use it. Uh, don't jump straight to okay, what time am I gonna put this out? Think about editing. Just film. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. film. And then if you want to, if you feel like using that that portion of your content later, then you can start working you know, in, in in a in a deeper way on it. But um and start seeing everything as an opportunity. Like today, for, for instance, earlier today, um, early this morning before we left, but you tell them, baby. 
there was butterflies everywhere. It was like this big oh. butterfly migration. And they were just flying across uh, across the yard in the sky. I was like, oh, my God, I've never seen this many butterflies. Butterfly in the sky. <laughs> I can go twice as high. Or a TikTok. <laughs> 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 The reading rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was amazing. I've never seen that many butterflies ever. So yeah, it was, you know, it was nice. and I ran in the house and I was like, hey, there's butterflies everywhere else. I don't know what's happening. Can mm -hmm. I get the camera? And I was trying to film it, but it just it didn't do it justice. I might put yeah. it up, I might not. But it's just it it didn't do it justice, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Right. And after a while I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this. Just this is just for me to watch, you know. So yeah. there's always an opportunity to um to film, you mm -hmm. know. And you don't have to put every aspect of everything on camera. But That's there's true. always something. Yeah, there's always something that you can film or you know, take a quick shot of and maybe use it later and down the road. Mm -hmm. So there's always opportunities, yeah. Speaking of the road, I think people want to take our music on the road, want us to take our songs on the road. You know, one of the one of the things I've learned to do and and um, Milton helped me figure this out, and that's to use use those pieces that I don't know what I'm going to do. Use it as B-roll. Because Absolutely. you may be talking about something and you may be um, talking about, oh, Tanzania is beautiful. I love being here. And then you can show mm -hmm. those butterflies. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, right. It's, so it's like there's always this opportunity for content. Um, and B-roll really does play a major, especially in recorded videos, in keeping oh, yeah. the audience engaged. And so, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Butterfly sound beautiful. Put some music on it and post it. All right. I think I will. It was it was it was beautiful to watch. I, like I said, the camera just doesn't do it justice, but I think the little bit that you can see, it'll be like, wow, that's amazing. So I think right. I will. And we learned something because like last year we didn't see um we didn't see this. And as we found out earlier today, uh you know, just like the mam mammals migrate in rainy season, yeah. they hear they hear butterflies do the same. It's literally like thousands of butterflies just migrating, making their way onto another part of the of the country. So, yeah, it was it was beautiful. It was, yeah. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And those are things that you learn, you know, from travel. But you just learned. So yes, exactly. B roll. I'm sure I know Seekers for Amethyst. Yes. Talk about, <laughs> talk about camera roll and B roll. Speaking of that, what kinds of cameras do you use? So now I am on my iPhone. I do have a camera. I have a Canon M50, um, which I I I do use. I do use. Okay. Um, but I don't use it as much as I use my iPhone. My iPhone really. Um, I have one of the newer iPhones, so it really does, mm -hmm. really does take good um, quality right. photos right. and um, especially like in portrait and video. And so, but I love this one. The only thing though is when I was, we were new to cameras when we um, got this one. And so there it is. The, mm -hmm. Oh, boy, there you go. Um, yeah. When I we were buying this, I didn't know it didn't would not connect to the internet. So that's right. the only that's the only thing. So what kinds of cameras or different things do you all use? Right now, straight good old phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Had, we do have um we do have uh, some cameras, but. You know, when we're out and about, we always have our home. So it's just easy to pull it out and like film. Um, and, uh, the newer phones, they have really nice cameras. And they do. iPhone photography has just been crazy. There's so many gadgets and things that you can get um, for your cameras. Like I have I have this guy, it's just a, a clip on. Okay. Um, uh, micro, Mag uh, magnifying uh, glass. Um, what is it? The micro wide angle lens, you just clip that on over your uh, camera and get wider angle shots and things like that. So there's a lot of gadgets you can use. But right now, just our phones, you know, because we're still small and, uh, you know, that'll come later. Um, mm -hmm. 
invest in yourself, reinvest in yourself and, and get different equipment and better equipment to do different things and, and different shots. So, yeah. So yeah. Mr. No, I'll be honest with you. April had to make me get phone. If I could, I'd still have a flip phone if it wasn't for her. Who's the worst? <laughs> you sound like my husband. I mean, he's oh. about to cancel his phone. I mean, not really. <laughs> I mean, he's like, his phone is not even, like, you don't want to take a charge. You don't want, he's like, I ain't find no new phone. I mean, <laughs> I think that's just men. I think that's just men. I think and so. Yeah, and cameras are definitely an investment. Cameras, yes, like yes. my phone, I don't know if you just noticed, my iPhone saw that I changed the position and it just gave me light. It just clicked in. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw the light change. You see that? See? You see that? Uh -huh. that's, uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. And I'm that's just... Pricey. That's pricey. Yeah, I'm, pricey. I'm just using an iPhone and then I literally have a light on in the living room. I don't know, uh, in the living room. I've had a light on in this room and it has a fan, so it's just a, like a regular hunter fan. And then I have two mm -hmm. lamps sitting in front of me. And that, mm -hmm. and my, the window is open. It's open. You can see that light is coming in from the side. Right. But, you know, I film in daylight. But I also film sometimes at night with this same setup. And the iPhone, it'll just, you know, it'll pick up. It'll, it'll, it'll pick amazing. up the light. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll pick up. The, the, the technology, I mean, it's almost... Um, <laughs> I, I won't say why get one, but when you could do everything from your phone, and then like April phone, way more of a later model than mine. It's got all kind of about three, four cameras on the back, and uh, <laughs> like it do little stuff like that too. You pick it up and ask you how you doing, all this stuff. So I, I, I would, I, would I see, I almost, <laughs> I see the benefits of like a, as far as investment, um. Because we have a camera, it's 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 uh, you call them just a regular, you know, camera. Like a regular point shooting. Like a regular camera. point shooting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. It used to be real fancy, but the technology goes no, so fast. No, no more. <laughs> but I would love, yeah, no. I would love like a Canon camera, the whole setup. I love taking pictures. I'm not yeah. a photographer uh, by any stretch. I'm not this, you know. But I, I love taking pictures, and I would love to just. Just take random shots. I love taking um, candidates of people. You know, it's kind of hard to do because people don't want to be on camera. But just someone walking down the street, just snap a shot. I love those kind of pictures. I love taking those kind of pictures. And that's something I want to delve into a little bit more as we grow. That would be awesome. Um, that would be awesome. I, yeah, the iPhone does does great. And there are some Samsung, Samsung and other cameras that do great. Mm -hmm. As well, mm -hmm. most is um, what you said. I still have iPhone seven. Yep, ain't nothing wrong with it, Mel. <laughs> we neck and neck. Yeah, <laughs> we are neck and neck, and I'm gonna have it till it till it just till it won't. He will. Yeah, till Whatever it won't no more. That's when I find how to get another. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Seek is saying, I I don't know. Seek what you were saying. Yeah, I love the I love the um the canon it's real mm -hmm. easy it's, it's, nice. it's light is it and this was um hubby and the kids got this for me for christmas when i was saying mm -hmm. i'm i'm, I'm nice. going to really do a couple of years ago when i said i'm, I'm really going to do youtube and it does take really nice photos the quality is nice yeah. and it's a seamless integration of getting you know getting you know the stuff out and putting it onto my computer mm -hmm. so that right. yeah, I love that as well. I'm like, yeah, there you go. I love that as well. Very nice. I love that. Yeah. But it's um, EOS M50, if anybody is wondering. Mm -hmm. but oh, that's nice. M, is that's it? the one I've been eyeing. Yeah, yeah like she's one. actually talking about that one. <laughs> yeah. That's fancy. It. The only thing is that I, I'm trying to pull it this one. The only thing, mm -hmm. there it is, says M50, is that I, um, didn't know it didn't connect with the internet. That would have been my mm -hmm. only thing. Mm -hmm. And we bought it at um, we, buy it? we bought it at Best Buy. And I think I would have bought it on I, I would have bought it on Amazon because I didn't get the kit. And so I, yeah. I paid every for everything separately. We didn't know. Um, we were just yeah. we was in the store and we had five dollars. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
So that yeah. was kind of it. Um, oh no, no, um, not the <laughs> not the iPhone seven. Yes, yes, he's yeah. telling the truth. iPhone yeah. seven. It's still um, working. Yeah. <laughs> that's, all, that's, it. that's it. That's all. That's all yeah uh yeah the seven i I, I don't know i'm gonna have to say which one i have but i don't have them i don't have this latest one the one have you all seen the latest one that's out now you on youtube they'll play sometimes the um video the um advertisements and you can make a whole movie like you can make a whole movie right like i don't know yeah i I don't have i don't have that one but um I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I think that is another, now that we're talking about products and everything, isn't that a great uh, reason for people to consider um, content creation? Even people that's on the fence because it's literally getting easier every year. It's getting easier every month, every day to create, edit, uh, 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 and, and Put our content literally from, in many cases, one device, from a single device. So, I mean, the, the options are there. Um, they are. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when we were living in different places and other parts, I mean, you didn't even have some of the applications, applica- some of the apps. I'm going to keep saying how young <laughs> folks say, some of the apps that you got uh, now, nowadays. Yeah. So, it's just too easy. It's too easy. It is. It's very, it's very much more easy. I was mm-hmm. saying if when my kids were growing up, I would have had a big channel if when my kids were younger, um, YouTube had come along. So by the time YouTube did come along, my kids were old enough to say, I won't be on camera. So, you know, right. 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 They were old enough to talk. <laughs> but, you know, I, <laughs> and know exactly what was going on. But if had they, you know, even all I see people doing like big grocery haul, gr- big grocery hauls. I'm like, well, y'all don't want to see the grocery haul Milton and I do because it's just the two of us, so we don't need oh, right. That many, right. Well, we don't need right. We don't need all those groceries. We don't. We don't need all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's something else that you have to. Uh, that um, I think there's an audience for everything, but. Uh, Combining whatever's popular with what you do anyway could be beneficial, if that makes sense. Like the way you combine your uh, your content and make it relevant with, um, I guess, current events or current mm-hmm. situations, right. stuff like that. Yeah. Pop culture, if you want. Yeah, I guess they do kind of qualify as pop culture. Some things, yeah, you can talk about it, make a whole channel about it. True, true. What's but a grocery haul for two people, you got a you got a point there. Yeah. Let's see what's going on in the chat here. Let's see. A certain requirements to stream from from the phone. Yes, there are. Yeah. Oh, you which one you could read now? The trail or sick images? Mm-hmm. Your phone. I didn't know you can do that. Yeah, you can stream yeah. from your phone. Mm-hmm. I think uh, the last video you put up, you were, you were on your phone. I was on my phone the whole time. Mm-hmm. On my little not new <laughs> iPhone. Yes, I did a whole live. Y'all can go look at it. Go look it up. It was about two, a day ago. Yeah, day it was yesterday. That yesterday. was yesterday. Yeah, out so, and about. Out and yep. about. Um, or just out. That might be what it's typed. Anyway, right. if y'all go to our page, um, African Dream that YouTube, You'll see it. Um, that's A F R I K A N D R. I'm gonna do that. I know you're gonna help. I thought you were help doing it. Or, or I just, thought you were doing it. I'm you do it. D R E A M I N. And uh, yeah, you can check that out. And yeah, for my little old, little old iPhone old, eight. Oh, uh, well, you ain't got to put all my business out. Of the, see. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nobody. It, it does I ain't great. Ashamed. I ain't it ashamed. does great. My it phone is great. just fine. No problem, I, Milton. No problem at all. It's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, you got the. Yeah. When I get uh, another one. When I one. get you. Yeah, one. when you get me another. Because you're not gonna go get it. I am not, man. That's not your thing. Nope. 
um, do we use affiliate links? Yes, we do, Milton. Um, we are Amazon partners, so we use affiliate links in uh, a lot of our cooking shows and when we're doing stuff for cooking and some of the products we use. So we use we use affiliate links. It's a, it's a good way to you know get some income in. So yeah, yeah. we definitely do that. Yeah, I'm gonna put my affiliate links um, for the camera and and that I use. I'm gonna. Hey, you don't have to go. My tech director can't. <laughs> people had to come in and help me. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for carrying on. But I, I want to no put. I'm gonna thank y'all. I appreciate it. Um, we back here fighting with the internet, but I'm gonna put my mm -hmm. links in for um. For the phone and for the camera, I should have done that before, um, but I will. I definitely will put it in. And so, yes, I still have. Let's see. Well, it was one comment I wanted to get. Um, yes, I'm streaming from my phone. Okay, I am streaming from my phone. I didn't know you could do that. I have to do a video, but there are a lot of ways. One of the things is StreamYard you can use. Um, and I'll put mm -hmm. the link below. So if anyone wants to um, go through my link and get StreamYard, that does help the channel out. So I'll check back and I'll put that link in because you can stream. And then mm -hmm. I use something that's called Erion, um, which is an app that you can actually um, just download in Chrome. And you can download it. And you can put okay. it on your phone. You can get an app on your phone for for Irian, I R I U N or I run one of the I R I U N is what it is. It's a webcam. Yeah, I R I U N, Irian, Irian. Is, is that like a streaming? Kind of thing, no, like it, it helps. You need it if you're con. Uh, oh shoot, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I spelled that wrong. So just ignore that. Let's see. Um, I R I U N. It's with an N, not the M. I'm sorry, guys. Period. Okay. Yeah. And it helps you to connect. Milton actually did my setup, and it helps you to connect the phone um, to your computer. And so the Arian on your computer will read the Arian on your um, on, on your uh, phone, and it'll act as your camera. So then my phone acts as my camera. Um, which gives me better quality. My Mac is a little older, and so it doesn't have a great... Well, y'all know. If you have a Mac, you know the cameras on the Macs are not great. So, right. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't understand that. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But that's, that's what I do, um, which really helps. And so, you guys, we're talking about the affiliate links. It's good to have... Um, and there's some other affiliate links out there, uh, affiliate companies out there well as well. But I just got my little affiliate um, statement for last month. I didn't make the ten dollars. So y'all clicking okay. though, y'all really clicking, but y'all ain't buying it. So I didn't make the <laughs> I didn't make the ten dollars. <laughs> so, so they said they were gonna uh, move my little seven dollars over to the next month. So I appreciate I appreciate you all okay. for clicking every, every, little, every little bit counts. <laughs> I know, don't it? It, it's just now. it counts. Um, but I'm glad to see you all are doing affiliate links. Motrell mm -hmm. on a mission says, African Dreaming, did you do a scheduled live stream or did you just went live on your phone? I just went live. I just mm -hmm. went live. I just went to YouTube, um, uh, went through the little steps, answered the questions, and hit the button. And next thing you know, I was filming. I was going live. And uh I would encourage content creators because I'm still kind of new at doing this. So uh, just do it. If you get a whim, if you feel like doing it, you're in a comfortable position with yourself and with stepping out there because I had, uh, I talked for maybe a minute, just kind of like, hey, y'all, this is where, I, where I'm at. People have been asking us to do this, more of this. So I'm doing it. And within five, six minutes, people just start flooding in and I think it's already at about 80 views from yesterday and mind you I I had no clue I didn't know that 15 or 16 people would jump in the chat uh out inside of 10 minutes right especially and with the time difference especially with the yeah. time difference yeah yeah 
So do you all uh, go live more in the evening and the afternoon or when it would be afternoon in the US, evening in the US? Uh, uh it's 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 morning. Morning in the US. Uh around six around around this time, six o'clock on Tuesdays is usually five. Five, yep, that's right. You change it. Five at live with African live. Dreaming. Live at five. <laughs> live at five. I'm sorry. You, you, you gonna get it, but I believe it. <laughs> I believe in I'm you. Her, <laughs> I'm trying. No. <laughs> that's worse than me, blind guy, his wife, their life. See, now I said it. <laughs> Same you great on this, by the way. I really enjoy seeing you on that channel. I really yeah. do. Oh, thank you. Thank we you. We follow God. them as well. Beautiful couple. They are. Yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell them you said it, but yeah, okay. No, <laughs> no I'm just joking. <laughs> no, they, they, that's know. a sweet compliment. They would love to hear that you said that, really, though. But you know what? Speak of them. Guess who? When I did that live yesterday, since we're talking about that live, yeah, they, they jumped in the yeah, chat. Yeah, they did. They're sweet. Yeah. They are sweet. They, are. they really are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. I mean, I really mean that. From the bottom of yes, my heart, I love them. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 They are and my usually, friends. That's good. That's, That's really good. nice. Um, yeah, usually we go live on Tuesdays. Tuesday, live at five. Live at five. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we try to um, we try to keep the consistency going. I mean, we have our lives on Tuesdays, and I try to drop a video on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, a really good friend of mine, uh, Jules on the run. She she just gave me some tips and pointers, and I took it to heart because I I wanted to know like, how you be successful at this. What what are some things that you can do to um, really grow? And uh, she was just telling me, you know, be consistent with your content, um, great thumbnails, doing collabs, uh, were really great ways to get out there and um, get your face out there and all that good stuff. So that's what we've been doing. You know, she gave me a lot of good advice and mm -hmm. uh, I really appreciate the feedback from her and some other people we get, just like everybody was saying, they wanted to see us out and out more and right. uh, just our life in Tanzania. So, you know, you take those, take what the people want and give people what they want, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any, um, I think I'm not sure if we asked, I asked this, but do you have any barriers or, um, you know, just anything that's difficult about taping in Africa? Is there any challenges? Are, are there any challenges about taping in Tanzania specifically? That, that can be. I think the first and biggest one would be um, you want to be really respectful of the community here because there are some uh, people who may uh, come, you can consider where we're at in uh, like uh, a sur a suburb of town of a sm even smaller spot. Like I mean, it's 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 not big, big at all. It's big space wise, but not too densely densely populated. And um, just to show a lot of respect, because that'll get you a long way here. Um, and most of the time, if you ask people, because this is also sort of a touristy environment Very so nice. people are accustomed to people taking pictures and wanting to take pictures so that's not a uh really a bit to do but when it comes to uh government buildings and uh certain things related to to official type uh structures or situations then that's where you might right. want to you, you, you can't you can't film that so so don't yeah. do it right you can just save yourself a whole lot of trouble. Um, and if if you in doubt, ask. Right. But outside of that, it's pretty much uh, people don't mind. Yeah, people don't mind. Yeah, I was listening to some uh, Tanzanian, uh, I think they were in Dardo, talking about some of the things that, you know, you just couldn't do. So um, mm -hmm. I'm glad, glad you shared that because you need to be aware where you're going and where you are. Um, you know, filming no matter where you are. It, we take right. it for granted in the U.S. that you can just do what you want to do, but you, you know, mm -hmm. you just need to know the unspoken and spoken rules. What about exactly. internet issues? I think I have more internet issues in Memphis than they do in Tanzania, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have? Yeah, our, our provider is a. Uh, we've had we've went through two mm -hmm. since we've been here. And our current internet provider is uh, it's the Bees Knees. Yeah. We're really impressed with it. Um, 
like I, I mentioned before, we getting into the early part of rainy season. Rainy season's kind of here now. So when that first started, we kind of had some issues, you know, maybe adjust your router a little bit, move it around so. And uh, once we tweak that, it's smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. It's smooth sailing. Uh, we, we're really happy with it. And we do have power issues. We've talked about that before. But the internet itself, right? no complaints. You know what I'm no, and it's not the power issues. It's not really that. I guess not for us. For us, we used remember, to. Yeah, last time when we talked, you were like, you know, the power goes out. Same thing in Texas. Um, our our electric company is called Upshur Rule, and the joke around home was, if the wind blows too hard, the lights, the power's going out. So it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not a big deal. You just make sure your things are charged, and it'll pop back on later. So it's not out of like, oh my god, the power's out for days. Yeah. It's not, no, it's not like that. So. Mm -mm. Cause I'm in, I'm not mean to turn this on, but I was sleeping with this yesterday. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and my light because the power. Yeah. Was and mm -hmm. and we I, we were like running to <laughs> Mel was running to to the um mm -hmm. turn the uh, box the cable box off because we were like if because if it does the power when I hit the other day because of the wind right it was just the uh -huh. wind and he was running trying to get the box because. And turn it off because we have had four, five, six different boxes, right? Because mm -hmm. it'll just blow the whole thing. And so, yeah. It serves when it comes back on. Yeah, it serves when it comes back on. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. yeah, we just unplug everything. We were sitting there um, enjoying the company. <laughs> wind a while, I wind a while. That's it. With, our That's little, it. with our little radio. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with being prepared and having your little just in case items. Right, you. right. And that's right. something else that we, that we talk about on our yeah. channel because uh, I did a solo video, a little DIY. I didn't do a step by step how to. I just showed you that if little old me can uh, get some solar panels and an inverter and a battery, then little old you can do it too mm -hmm. because right. uh, it's beneficial and um, it, it's not so much about off grid as it is about having self sustainability, because just by using those two words, you can people can go one way with it or go the other way with it. So I prefer self sustainability, and uh, I'm glad you got that. And you you say y'all was y'all would walk around unplugging stuff. That's it sound like uh, my big mom when I was little when the thunderstorm come through. Turn everything off, unplug everything. And be quiet. And be quiet. <laughs> and be quiet. <laughs> and be quiet. The Lord doing his work. He working. He working. The Lord's business. Yeah. <laughs> you better, you better you go down somewhere. Where you going, bathroom? Oh, you better go in there and come on out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Business handle. Yes. You should have went to the bathroom up. before the song started. What was you doing? <laughs> Y'all, they laughing. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You hungry? Yes, you hungry? You better. <laughs> you better wait. <laughs> oh goodness! Like the stove don't work. Like the stove, like the stove don't work in the storm. What do the gas right. stove have to do with? It? <laughs> right. Nothing. 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 You couldn't tell them that though. You got to be on the phone. None of that. No, uh -uh, you better <laughs> you know. not look at a phone. Don't even look at a phone. You might have got. I ain't trying to put our uh, business out there, but you know, big mom back in my they, they'll throw some match. They can't move fast enough. They'll just throw some match. Look, so, a, a shoe, a, a flip flop, a, a, a something to go something. Across. You be you ducking. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, you know. Right. Look, you don't even know what don't even know what you're ducking for. I mean, you know, really, everybody. Look, I'm sure y'all know. Look, because Mim told me this yesterday, <laughs> and I, I started laughing, but he's like, "I'm serious." He was like, uh, five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. He was like, "Look, storm coming. Y'all need to go and get your bags." <laughs> <laughs> See, I was gonna leave that alone. Yes, yes, yes. What time is the storm supposed to come by? See, y'all, see, now you for real. Mills are for real, you for real. Y'all know, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. you, 
<laughs> you better wait till it pass or get in there before time. Yeah, everything we're gonna happen to you during the thunderstorm. Yeah. Everything. everything. Yes, ma'am. Everything. See, know. <laughs> he said, I got some. Oh, he said. He said, I got some, and I love my baby now. Don't, don't, because you know what? Look now, <clears throat> during the storm, <laughs> yeah. now folks, they'll do it. You're going to be hot. Yeah, you're going to be hot. You're going to take the nap. You're going to take a nap, you know. Mm -hmm. And he, he got some um, lunch meat. Y'all know what y'all know about lunch meat the day before. So, oh, yes. some turkey and some ham. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. yes, ma <laughs> we were ready, and some light bread. Some light bread. <laughs> they buys flashlights and other essentials. <laughs> exactly. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you know, talking about cultural issues, it's uh -huh. fun and yeah. it makes the broadcast interesting, right? It makes it interesting because Absolutely. these are things everybody don't know. But anyway, Julius, what were you gonna say? <clears throat> oh, uh, nothing. I, back, nothing. I was gonna say I, I wouldn't mind having me about two or three dollars worth of summer sauce and some <laughs> cheese. <laughs> And right now, because yep. you're talking about right lunch meat, light bread, so mm -mm. you just had my mind running. <laughs> Go on. You look, that, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's, that's what, what is it? Rag baloney. That's what I'm, that's mine right there. Yes, <clears> ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, I don't even know where I was, but anyway. <laughs> it's, it's, look, Coral and Aquita are amazing. It's good to have people in mm -hmm. your corner. And you were talking about your friend, um, April, who helped you, you know, who gave yeah. you some advice and some information again. Um, mm -hmm. Jules on the run. And so yes. it's all it's always yes. good to have people mm -hmm. in your corner that share who've been there, right? And who can That's share right, right mm -hmm. information and help you on the journey because they can really save you a lot of you know a time and a and a and a lot and a lot of heartache. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Have you guys experienced any um, rude comments or you know over the top comments? If so, how you de deal with it? Um, nothing too bad <laughs> yet, but I know they're coming. <laughs> so uh, our plan is, my plan is, I think I don't, I can't show you exactly where it's at, but they got a little button. I think don't you when you block them? Oh yeah, yeah. block them and keep yeah. on pushing, keep on moving with your life. Because I don't like it depends on the nature of it. I think mm -hmm. um, if it's worth addressing, um, then maybe it'll be addressed. But if it's something that's blatantly and obviously for uh, attention and to try and get a rise out of us, mm -hmm. no, man. Right. And you, you just let it kind of roll off your back. It was one our, one of our videos, the seasoning video that we oh, did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a uh, short, and uh, somebody just put. That's not funny. And we're like, okay. it was funny to us. Yeah, it was hilarious, hilarious, you know. Right. So I, you know, I don't want to get too caught up in in those kind of comments. I'd be like, what you say? What? <laughs> what? Right. <laughs> right. No. right. I don't want to do that. It'll take me out of character. So you know, you just kind of have to let it roll off your back. I mean, you want to keep them comments there because everybody has the right to their opinion, mm -hmm. their own opinion. But as long as they're not being ugly or too rude, and I mean, it can stay up there. It is what it is. Right. But um, if if you get too 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 personal, too rude, and all mm -hmm. that, then yeah, we'll block you. We'll take the comment down. But we haven't had anything anything crazy off the top, uh, out of, uh, out of the ordinary or anything like that yet. Not yet. Um, but I feel like it's coming, and I try to stay mentally prepared because I do follow other farmers. I follow other African farmers and homesteaders, uh, folk back in the state, and. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but there's some weird people out there. It is. So you 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 literally I have I have watched videos and then or uh, I had to rewatch because I was busy and see something where the whole video is just about chickens and maybe chicken feed and uh people who make a point to 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 uh say, well, I'm not telling you to do this, but this is how I do it and this is how it benefits me. And even with all of that, um Exactness. Some is <laughs> always one of them. And on YouTube, it seems like it's always three. But that's all right. <laughs> we ain't gonna worry about them either. Right. So you right. just keep going and, and stay positive. And uh because if you walk in light like you, <clears throat> Milton, you don't have to be the way that you are. You don't have to uh do things to benefit 
uh, people outside of yourself. So to me, that's walking in light. Now, when you walk in light, <clears throat> it's some darkness somewhere around. Mm -hmm. And yeah. darkness likes to try to cover light. So I, I like to be careful about um, letting, I don't, want, I don't want to feed it. Right. I don't want to feed it too much. So that's my long drawn out answer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, I really try to work hard on just being, but I will get out of care. I will get in character, let me say, because it's another character. <laughs> <laughs> but I really just, I, had, I decided a long time ago that I was not going to give ugly people more ugliness. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I'm just like, no, I, I, I just decided a long time ago, like, I'm not making the video for you to say, oh, to the one comment. Uh, right. you know, it's like you got all these supporters and I'm going to spend time making a whole video because the one person says something. Person. No, mm -hmm. you won't get that. Mm -hmm. You won't get that here. <laughs> Hey, that. Right. right, and, and, and that, that don't mean it's not easy because sometimes you can really want to. You can yeah, really you can really want, want to. to. Right, and yeah. I, I go ahead. Yeah, I think because you're human and you have you're feelings, human. you know. Just because you're on a platform doesn't mean you know you can just say any and everything to somebody, mm -hmm. and, and that's okay. Yeah. That's not okay, right. you know. So yeah, but you you can't let it get to you to the point where you like to say you do a response video and, and clapping back. I mean, you know, you see a comment, I might like, like talk to Julie, it's like, you see that? Yeah, you know? like, we'll we'll we right. do like, you see this mess, you see what this so and so done said yeah. and, and then we and then we'll kind of chuckle vent, about it, chuckle vent, and, chuckle, then, and then and get it out of there. That's it. Yep. That's it. And that's good to have each other. It's good to have someone that you can talk to. So that mm -hmm. I yes. definitely say find someone, build a, you know, that's why I think is building a community is so important because you got to have people that you can talk to, to say, you know, Hey, this happened or this is going on. Um, because right. Because it's important for real. Right. I mean, this is just, yeah. these, these are just like the real tips that are going to help you um, mm -hmm. get through it. You, you mm -hmm. have to build a community and have other you know, people that you can talk to and let them be your sounding board because some stuff is just trolls and we don't need to be out here slapping. Right. 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 And, and you know, I, I'll say this too. Uh, uh, I think four hours are better than two when in our situation, six is better than, than four. Okay. And uh, I, say that, I say that because uh, it would be I won't say impossible because I can do anything I put my mind to, uh, and so can so can my wife. But having each other as a content creating duo or team versus being solo with it, I can't imagine the hardships that you encounter because uh, I've seen uh, solo travelers. <laughs> I've seen people who are nomadic, who just they're out there, they're traveling on their own, they're creating content on their own. They do when I live by themselves, and I can only imagine how hard that is. Because if I have an issue, right here is who I bounce it off of. Yeah. She has a question; she bounces it off of me. Um, everything that I'm weak at, she's super strong. And the things that she, my baby, ain't weak at nothing. The <laughs> things that she doesn't feel like doing, then I'll pick up. You know, and uh, so that's a benefit with content creating. And I think you're absolutely right. Especially if you're doing a solo, build a team, have some people you can count on, rely on, people that they may not, you know, I'm not saying be a yes man, go find you a yes man, a yes woman, find somebody who's going to tell you the truth mm -hmm. about what you <clears throat> so. right. Yeah, and that that is what's important. Well, we're coming up to, to um, an hour and 30 minutes, and it doesn't feel like it, y'all. Um, we're going <laughs> to close out. I know it's nighttime over there and they are, um, he's got to go check on the chickens. Um, she may have to cook some chickens. Not at night now. They sleep now. They sleep now. Okay, they sleep now. Okay, okay. Uh, Mel has another question and that is, does the mm -hmm. religious culture present any challenges um, for you in recording? Does that present, be, well, being in another country, does that present any challenges at all? No. 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 Not, not, no. Not a religious standpoint. No. No. Okay. No, <laughs> now, mind you, 
we are in Arusha, and Arusha is so different from Dar es Salaam mm -hmm. in that regard. Okay. Um, there are certain parts. I mean, you have both uh, prominent, most prominent religions here are Christianity and Islam. Mm -hmm. And hey, Audrey. <laughs> um, yeah, no. so, so. It's, it's very conservative. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I would say that. It, uh, I think about like the South. Yeah, I would say. yeah, about, about like the South. South. I think if we were like um, into music videos where you know people are just kind of you know scantily and all this, I think that might pose a problem right. here. Yeah. Uh, just depending on the location you you choose to film. Yeah. But as far as just being out and about filming, no, 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 right. No. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> well, you guys um, really make some great thumbnails. Oh, and, thank you. Uh, yeah, I love your I love your thumbnails, and I also love your intro. So, um, so say your intro for us when you when you come on. You what? say, oh, oh, what, what, what being country? Oh, being country in another country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, say it with enthusiasm, <laughs> y'all. Oh, okay, okay. You know, you know, what we be doing. You know, what we gonna be doing. What we gonna be doing, baby? We gonna be, be in country. In another country. country. That, there you go. That's right. There you go. See, and that gets you already pumped up and hyped right there from the beginning. I love that. So there may be new content creators who are here. Um, and so you got to have that hook, right? You got to get them in, mm -hmm. get them in, pull them in, right. run them in. And you guys do that in a beautiful way. And then oh, you guys have you. a, you're welcome. <laughs> um, now, who came up with the with that? Who came up with that? <clears throat> <laughs> it, it was both of us. It, it was music. Just both of us. <laughs> we knew we wanted it to be our country <laughs> and yeah. incorporate, you know, some of our pictures from back home. And food and all that that's stuff. in our intro it's a combination yeah. of tanzania and a few pictures from back oh, at east texas yeah, yeah. So us being in the country and everything mm -hmm. and then the last part with our chicken keisha with the cluck i was like that would be so funny if we could put her clucking mm -hmm. at the end and i was like we, we timed it out. i was like okay no it needs to go right right here yeah. right at the end yeah. it was like it was perfect we giggled at that intro so, so much because we thought it was we we loved it ourselves. Right. You know, if you if you love what you're doing, you know, I think it shows. You know, we, shows. we just mm -hmm. we love our intro. Every time it comes on at the end, she click on. You know, right, <laughs> right, right. We get right. it so hard, so we we enjoyed making it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, who? How do you make your um, thumbnail for your video? I use Canva. Okay. Um, it's an app, and there's there's all kinds of stuff you can you can make uh, create books on there. You can do you can actually make YouTube videos uh, through Canva. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do thumbnails, you can do Instagram posts, um, banners, logos for your brand, all that kind of stuff there. So I really like um, using Canva for that. Awesome. Well, I we have um, really explored a lot today. And so there's a lot in here. I hope you guys who came in later will go back and watch the beginning. And if you watch the replay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has yes. joined us today thank as you. well. Um, I love that also the food isn't bad either. Yeah, the food, is, yeah. the chickens are good. Well, um, African Dreaming, you know, you guys, I've left the links for you guys, for everyone to go check out your channel. But what are your thank final you. thoughts? What are you? Oh, you're welcome. What are your final thoughts on content creation and the importance of us entering this space um, and sharing our story and our voice? Um, you want to go first? <laughs> I think. Well, I try to speak for both of us as much as possible, but um, I would say for as far as rules, we're still new, so uh, I'm not trying to overstep my bounds by uh, coming off like I know too much, but from what I've learned, I'll share what we've learned up to this point. Step one, um, have the courage to do it. Believe in yourself, walk out on faith, um, especially if you're moving right and you're trying to walk in light and just share some, share your content, share your you, share your whoever you are. Uh, definitely do that. Uh, because um, 
I heard a saying one time, some of the best ideas that ever existed is out in the graveyard because people never brought them to fruition because they they didn't uh, manifest them into reality for whatever reason. So that, um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for uh, guidance if you need it. Um, also, I would say to uh, pick up that camera. Even on days you don't feel like it, uh, that was a great, mm -hmm. great uh, point Sonal made about, you know, B-roll. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't know exactly when you will use it, if you are and call yourself a content creator, just about everything you see in a 24-hour day can be content in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Absolutely. Um, if you have commenters who are uh, leaving comments and making uh, suggestions, read them and uh take that 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 feedback and if they saying hey we want to see you uh on cloudy days more than i don't know wait till it look like it's for the rain and go stand outside I, you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't tell big people. mama <laughs> <laughs> you right you're right because big, right. gonna get you. big mama gonna get, get you get, in the house. get out that rain boy. and yeah. uh I think that's, I think well, that was some Yeah, points. and I, I would say um, the two biggest mistakes that I made when I was starting, a good friend of mine told me, if you have something and it's ready, just put it out. Like, don't sit on it. What are you waiting on? Just, just mm -hmm. put it out there. Mm -hmm. That was one. And the second thing I would say, don't film and edit on the same day. You're going to burn yourself I'll out. I'll try not to. You're going to be tired. Yep. You, you know, you should just have a day that you film, 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 and then another day that you you, you do your editing and all that stuff. Because, I mean, it's a lot when you're when you're doing your editing and you're, you're sitting there and you, your eyes get tired and you start missing things and little bit things that are like, oh, well, I, 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 I slipped and missed, I missed that. And, you know, so give yourself some time. Take breaks in between, but don't try to do everything mm -hmm. all at once. Um, and, um, you know, there's a lot of good um, uh, sites and everything for thumbnails. You want to make really nice, attractive thumbnails to make you want to click on your content. Like I said, we're still growing. We're not experts by any means. But right. These are just awesome. things that have helped know, us that, so far. Yeah, that, that have helped us and uh, just feedback from friends that are YouTubers that, uh, that were willing to share information with us, and we appreciate them just like we appreciate you so much. So I think that. That's it. Uh, oh, one yeah. more, two more things yeah. I thought about. Y'all, y'all look at me. I'm tired now. I've been up since ooh, ooh, super early. And uh if you need time in between, especially when you're super excited about this new thing you're doing, like creating this content, if your phone just right there and you know you need to go ahead and go to sleep, you just can't get out. Sometimes to be more productive in a little bit, put your phone down, get off your computer, close your laptop. Take you a deep breath and take you a nap. Take you a break. That's what take Milton breaks. said on his TikTok the other day. Take I saw it. Take real. a break. Take a break mm -hmm. and breathe. And it's breathe. okay to take a break it is. and breathe, and that way you can help yourself make better decisions. You I gotta, felt that. Milton. Yes, you got to reset. That. You have to reset, yes. or you you walk around. I mean, being busy and being productive two different things. You can be busy all day and not do a doggone thing worth worth nothing, right? right. <laughs> so. uh do that, and the, I think the absolute most, most, most important is um. This popped in my head because Audrey Willis jumped in the chat. I have never seen or encountered some of the some of the kindness and uh, positivity and support from people who were once strangers who grown into friends. And now that's something you can hope for, you can aspire to, but you don't know how and when or if that's gonna happen. It's just like moving to Africa. It's just like moving to Colombia. It's just like moving wherever you move. Uh, you can cross all your T's and dot your I's, but you can't give yourself the kind of blessings that may be in store for you unless you walk out there on faith and uh, hope the stars and the moon and all the other stuff align for you because that's another big part of it. It's and having that support, it's like, it's you know, we, let, we saw Audrey and all the people in the chat and it's like, those are our family. They 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 check on us. They come mm -hmm. to our channel. They check on mm -hmm. us. See how we're doing. And it's a beautiful thing. And I'm glad that 
Uh, so now if you're doing this series about content creators and and yeah. um, helping us and helping smaller channels get to where they need to be, because I mean, there's room for everybody. Right. And um, there's a lot of people with a lot of great things to say. Mm -hmm. And 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 for you to to highlight those challenges is an amazing thing. We really really appreciate you. We do, and the more we grow, the more we can share. Yes. So. Like this, good. I think good. Yeah, y'all did good. Y'all did excellent. Thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate your time. I commit. I commend you guys on your journey uh, because your journey at the beginning of your journey is so important. Because one of the most Google things on YouTube is how to start a YouTube channel. And the people who often answer, answer the people who often answer that question are the people who are at a hundred thousand, and they have to go then and start a new channel to remember what they did in the beginning. So that's why your story is so important. Wow, your story right now, where you are right now, where you have. You know how many ever subscribers you have means everything to the person that has zero or that only has yes it. yes ma'am yes you yes, know what I'm saying? so mm -hmm. your story right now where you are right now doing what you're doing at this very moment is so yes, important and i'm glad that you're here telling and sharing your story i love Thank you guys so <laughs> i love you guys i love you guys love so you much too. Thank, you. Thank you have an amazing day <laughs> you too thank you have a great day you too guys wasn't that amazing that was amazing okay so julius and april we already know they're amazing and they have an amazing channel i've left everything uh for them i know you guys are going to be watching the replay and i appreciate that thank you audrey and thank you to everyone who joined us today you can go over and you can go over to buy me a coffee and you'd like to support me and the work that i do um, you can support me um, by clicking on the link. I've pinned it at the top and you can buy me a coffee and support this broadcast, support this broadcast. Uh, I really would appreciate it. That would really help me to continue the work that I do. Well, go over and check out Julius and April because they're doing some amazing work on their channel, over on their channel. And I have left links and um, in the description just for you so you can go connect with them and support them on their journey um, i'm just excited to see all of the amazing things that are to come more to come um, so many more amazing things to come yes they're amazing oh i'm amazing thank you <laughs> i appreciate that um, and i love you guys uh, for being on this journey with me and for tuning in be sure to share the broadcast like and support thank you for all the hearts and all the love it really does mean a lot to me um so much more than you know thank you for being on this journey with me i appreciate you guys and love you guys so much baby you 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 are amazing you are beautiful you are talented you are creative and you are loved and you are welcome here always welcome here on our channel and so I'm so glad that you are here with me. I'm Sanal. I'm signing off. And I'm going to see you in another video real soon. Bye-bye, guys. Lots of love. Have an amazing day. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy.